Gruß, äh, Johnny geht. So, I am in Mount Falcon, which is, it's Ballina. Like, you can drive to the town in, like, 10 minutes. But it's, I think it's a country estate. I've been calling it a castle. I now understand why, you know, when you watch, like, Bridgerton and all of those, like, period dramas, I understand how they retreated to the country. <laughs> Because it's, it's very relaxing. This is pure Downton Abbey, Bridgerton vibes. Stunning room. I love how there's still like all the old features. So like the floors. There's obviously loads of furniture and everything. But yeah, it is preserved beautifully. You know you're an adult when you're like, Jesus, I wonder how much it costs to heat this place. <laughs> there's a lovely smell. When you walk into the reception, there's an open fire and it was lit. And you can just smell I don't know, the wood, it just, oh, it just smells like winter or something. It gives you that lovely, cosy feeling. So, I'm going to show you the room. I got lots of clips because we have to do this room some justice. This is a really, really popular hotel with, like, American tourists. I heard there was some American people um, downstairs at breakfast. I think I heard someone that had, like, a Canada twang. Um, really, really popular, and I did see loads of minibuses for tours. So I did say in Thursday's video, if you are visiting, you would need a car. Um, but I did see tour buses, so maybe you could ask um, when you're booking or anything. But I'm sure there's independent tour companies if you search. I know when I go on holidays, I use like Via Tour sometimes, um, and it just google as well but i did see people going off on day trips and i was like oh i wonder where they're going sometimes it's nice not to have to drive um you have to see so much more as well don't you show you the room and then i'm going for a falcon walk so there is some falconry here you can also do clay pigeon shooting but i don't trust myself with that um there is a falcon walk birds of prey I, I haven't a clue um so i'm really excited to see that because you know me i love getting very close to animals i got a bit too close to some sheep this morning <laughs> i was like oh no i hope i didn't upset them so i'm excited to kind of learn about it um like i'm interested and curious you know because when i think of birds of prey i think of just in the wild free um so yeah, I want to kind of learn a bit more about that and see, you know, how they're looked after and, you know, the ins and the outs of them. Weather when I got here yesterday was absolutely lashing rain. Um, stormy, but it was beautiful. I went to the spa and I had a massage, got a few clips of the spa as well. Um, you're not supposed to have your phone, you're not supposed to ever video in a spa, but when there was nobody there when I was leaving, I just got a few clips just to show you. It was really nice. And I was thinking as well, a winter will be lovely here. Or there's loads of trees and woodland. So I was like, maybe late October when all the leaves start changing. I think it will be beautiful. It'll be really cosy. Like a cosy weekend away. Yeah. Let's get into it and then I'll bring you to see the birds. Well, have I got some decor inspiration for you. So if you love this style of decor, then I hope you get some inspiration. I love how simple it is and it's making the most of the features. So impressive woodwork, you've got the wooden shutters on the window, lovely big architraves and doors, all of the wooden furniture and in my house I have quite a small house and it lacks character because it was built in like 1999. But something I was thinking of, if you want to add character to your house, it is about that lovely wood trim. It's the details that bring it all together. Now I probably wouldn't get away with all of this dark wood in my house because it's quite small, but I do appreciate it and I do love the pieces and how they've been styled together. I also love the artwork on the walls, so the pictures with the wooden frames. So a nice way to add some warmth into a room would be to add some frames. This room has beautiful high ceilings as well. And the windows, yeah, the windows. That will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Away your 
After breakfast, I had a stroll around the grounds and the trees, they are just getting going and they're starting to change their colours. So I kind of wish I was about two weeks later because I'd say this place looks beautiful once all the trees turn orange and the leaves start to fall. But I think that's more of a kind of mid-October to late-October timing. I was looking back on all photos on my phone to try and pinpoint the exact point when the trees change properly here. There is walking trails around the grounds if you want to have a stroll and there's a big field with sheep which I actually walked <laughs> through and uh, the sheep play very friendly, didn't get harmed um, but I may have gone a bit too close. They did start walking towards me and I was like oh no, oh no. Now it was time to head out on my hawk walk and learn all about these amazing creatures. If you follow my Sunday Garden video, you'll know that I am always trying to get a robin to eat from my hand with no success. So to be able to get so close to these birds, but actually learn all about them as well, was so fascinating. And I must stress that these are not pets. The first thing I wanted to do was rub him in an affectionate way. No, 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 these are birds of prey. We went out and we walked the woods with a Harris hawk. So I think these are the only social bird of prey in the world and they hunt in packs. So when we're walking around, um, he thinks we're all hunting together. And did you know that Harris hawks can see eight times further than the human naked eye and can see an ultraviolet. And also something I learned is with the peregrine falcons, their numbers have increased because they were reintroduced to New York. I think they were saying they'll the skyscrapers and I think there is special nesting places for them as well. Um so they like the environment and the height. So yeah, their numbers have increased. And do you know the phrase fed up? I am fed up. So that comes from falconry. So that is when a bird of prey eats too much and does not want to hunt anymore. So that can actually be a bit dangerous for them because what happens is they will overeat or have a big feed and then they will perch up in a tree. They become vulnerable then to attack. Um, I think they get too heavy to fly. And the phrase end of my tether also comes from falconry and that is because of the tethers that are used when they are training the birds. So end of my tether and fed up. So <laughs> I've brought my wine and my pizza back to the room. So I was downstairs having dinner but I decided to go for pizza. I had room service last night and I got the steak. I was feeling very bougie. Um, so I went for the pizza tonight but I couldn't finish it and the lovely gent was like I'll put it in a box for you, bring it back to your room. 
And I'm like, genius. I mean, I made a good stab at it. I got the shri No, it's not shri I got the spicy one. Shiracha? Shiracha? No. I don't know. There's a bit of spicy sauce, but it's not actually that spicy. And there is ground beef on it. That's very nice. So I brought that back. And hang on. I brought back my wine as well. <laughs> so I'm going to pour myself. I'm actually going to, I think I might have a bath because it's not something I do at home. Like I know I have a bath at home, but the main reason why I don't really use it is because like one of the bits is broken and stuff. Whereas it would be an absolute shame not to use this bath while I'm here. I love this. And you know what? I think this has been re -enameled. I was just looking at it, I was having a close inspection and I was like, oh, I love that. Um, so yeah, this is an absolutely stunning bath. So I think it would be a shame not to use it. And also last night, I closed over the shutters and I was like, this is gonna sound really silly, but um, not that I assumed the shutters would be, would be for decoration. Obviously, you know, you used them. And now I'm like, I think I want shutters in my house. But the problem is I don't have lovely big windows like this. So I think shutters might look a bit silly, but I love the detail as well. Like it looks like these, I was looking at the wood and I was wondering if these have been restored because if you look closely, you can kind of see there's remnants of paint, um, which I love seeing that because it's it kind of shows the history. And I was looking at like some of the wood panels because obviously when you strip paint from wood, it can be very hard to get some of the little detail bits out. But I love it gives it a bit of history. Yeah, so stripping wood can be quite hard, and then sometimes sometimes you can damage it as well. Like I'd love to know how old these are and like what they were before, but they've done a great job at restoring them if they have been. So yeah, you can see the detail on this. It's very easy to paint things, but it's very hard to strip it back. Good morning. I have rescued. There has been a butterfly in my room the past past day and I've had the windows open and I finally am after being able to catch him. I'm hoping I can revive him. He's there. He's only in that two seconds. So let's open up and see if we can rescue him or her. Good morning. I'm just sound is on. Sound is on. I'm just doing my makeup. I talk. I have to chat. These are the things I think of when I'm in lovely establishments. So I was thinking to myself just there. Is that annoying? I prop my mirror up here. Okay, I can see. If you won the Euro Millions, because I don't think you'd buy a country manor with the normal lotto. Not the normal Irish lotto, you wouldn't. You probably need your millions. What would you call your country manor? These are the things I think of. What would you call your country manor if you won the lotto? Do you ever see houses? So some houses in Ireland, I would call them posh ones. I probably in the country, they would have a name, not a number. And I've often wondered, if I had a house, what would I name it? The most obvious one is taken, Carton House. Carton House is a fine big establishment in Kildare. That's, it's not a castle, but it's a big country manor, I think. 
Here's the country manor. It's an estate. An estate. And not a house, an estate. Um, I have no relation to them, by the way, actually. They're aristocrats. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, we share the same surname, but we're not related by blood. Although I did have family in Kildare, but... Oh, no. Was it Kildare? Yeah. But, um, no relation. No relation. Dainty manor. No, because it'd be huge, it wouldn't be dainty. It would be majestic if I won your millions. Anyway, let me know. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> These are the random thoughts that come into my head. I'm just doing my makeup, it's beautiful. I have the window open, the birds are singing, it's lovely. Um, and I was thinking as well, last night when I went for dinner, I was like, oh, it's really relaxed here because I often, often feel out of place in Fancy places. I don't know the etiquette. It's too many forks and spoons. <laughs> but I don't feel like that here at all. It's really relaxed. Like people came in from dinner yesterday from their, you know, their trips and they just had like, um, I threw on a dress because I didn't know. I was like, do I have to be proper? But um, I could have went down in me, my jeans and my fleece. A lot of people were coming in from their activities of the day. And, um, yeah, they were, hang on, I need to check on my, they enough blush. All I'm doing is driving home today anyway, so I don't need to have my face full glam. So yeah, it doesn't feel pretentious here. Okay, a little bit of something on my lips. And I was thinking to myself as well, just want to put a bit, a bit of white eyeliner on the eyes, just makes you look awake when you ain't feeling awake. I was thinking, to myself as well, I was like, oh, I feel guilty because I didn't go exploring more. Like, I know I did a lot of rambling in Thursday's video. Um, and I was like, oh, I feel, I feel guilty for not visiting more places. But this happens to me when I go, like, traveling outside of Ireland. I, like, fatigue myself, burn, burn myself out, trying to get, get content. And I was like, what do you actually want to do? And I was like, I want to enjoy this lovely place and have a nap. Because I was thinking I could spend 45 minutes driving out to Downpatrick Head, I think it's called, to look at a lovely cliff for 10 minutes. And then that, my hour, or my drive back to Dublin, it'd be like four hours. <laughs> and I was like, do I want to burn myself out like that? I was like, no. I can always see the cliff another day when I have more time. Um, definitely, if you are coming, give yourself lots of time. Um, if there is things you want to do, but I was like, do you know what? There's no shame sometimes in just coming somewhere, coming somewhere, and doing nothing and enjoying it. Another thing I was thinking: if you won, help. <laughs> no one's listening. <laughs> They're like, why is she? If you won the euro millions, euro millions, would you even buy a country manor? Because these are the things I think of: how much it costs to heat it. You have to have staff to maintain it. The maintenance, I'd say, in these manners is probably insane. Because isn't that why a lot of them, they're kind of turned into museums and they always have, you know, like coffee shops and people walk in and they host um, events and stuff. Because wasn't there a load of abandoned castles and manors in England because like that, the cost of running them? Anyway, I often wonder, I find it really <clears throat> interesting because I love watching uh, period dramas, period movies. Um, I, like all of, I, I just find it really curious. They were all, they all seem to, because I'm like, how do they make their money? How do they make their money? But in all of those movies, even Downton Abbey and all, they were all landlords, weren't they? They owned the land around them. But yeah, I know I'd say the upkeep. Just from my own little manner. I, li I have a three bed tiny house and the upkeep in that. <laughs> like I just go home now, put on a load of washing. I didn't clean the house before I left. Anytime I leave to go somewhere, I love to scrub the house and then come back to a clean house. But I didn't have time to do that. Well, I mopped the floor before I left, but not my usual so yeah these are my mor morning thoughts so to summarize your question what would you call your manner 
if you won the Euro Millions and you bought one. Would you even buy one? Because I was thinking, you could just spend all your Euro Millions money staying in them as a guest. And as a guest, you're spoilt because you don't have to pay for all the upkeep and maintenance. And you could, like, manor hop. Yeah, there's actually a lot of um, places like this in Ireland. I was just thinking, even out kind of Dublin direction, like Clare, Meath, every county has a manor like, do you know? Anyway, I'm talking absolute, these were just my morning thoughts. And I thought I'd share them with you. Cause, and do you also have these random thoughts as well? <laughs> or am I doing too much? solo travelling <laughs> that I end up why is it when you do your bottom mascara lash you have to like look up actually that mascara is a bit dry she's a bit dry go on to the next one so yeah I had so much fun I'd say if I had another day I'd, I'd get a bit more rambling done but if you just look up the place I'm on about, Down Patrick's, Down Patrick Head. There's also Ennis Crone Beach. I think it's half an hour away from here. Um, there's a couple of little beaches, Ennis Crone Beach. And um, there is some hiking as well. But if you go onto like Google Maps, you'll see like where in the west, so North, North Mayo. But yeah, there's loads of things to there's loads of things to scratch your itch. I actually had to, another reason why I am reluctant to do more driving is because my poor beetle, one of my tires was looking flat yesterday. And uh, I went to the garage, the petrol station, and I put air in them and I texted. So it was gone flat. I texted my brother and uh, he's a mechanic because I got brand new tires a year ago and I says, uh, oh, there was only 16 PSI in my tire. Have I a leak? Like, is it, have I a, a puncture? And he's like, when was the last time you put air in your tires? And I was like, a year ago, when you gave me new tires. And he was like, you're supposed to check your tire pressure every month. And I was like, every month? I only drive like to the shops and back in Dublin. And I was like, oh. He's like, especially for a long journey. And I was like, oh. Um, so I pumped all of them up. They all had lost pressure. Um, he was like, well, if it's been a year, he suppose that's normal. You'd lose like one to two PSI a month from your thing. So that's not too bad. So I need to go out and check on my tire. And if it's the same pressure and it hasn't dropped, then I know it's, it's grand. But um, I once got a, I've once got a flat tire on the way to Limerick. I think it's the Obama Plaza. I got a flat tire and I got towed. I was on the motorway in the little hard shoulder terrified for like half an hour then I got told to Tiberary or something it was a Friday evening then they charged me for two f new front tires and I was so traumatized I just drove back to Dublin <laughs> that was years ago but I still have the trauma do you know what I forgot to do I forgot to show you the bits I got in Foxford in the last video but I'll show you them when I get back home okay time for a little haul hang on also, I nearly fell back in the chair. There's a storm a brewing. Um, there's a storm outside, so I was good. Thank God I got home yesterday afternoon. I would not like to be driving in that right now. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bed linen. Now this is very spring, <laughs> and we're going into autumn. Also, I think there's rain on my camera because I brought it in from the car, so I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I bought this bed set. How pretty is this? I hope my camera is gonna, yeah. It is, look at the little flowers on it. And I bought the matching. So I said to the girl, cause you know what I sometimes with fancy bed linen? I'm like, is there pillowcases with this? And she says, yeah, there is. So there's two floral ones and I got the two stripe ones. So I'll have the stripe and then the floral. And I just thought these are so pretty. They're giving me the garden vibes. They're even lovely in this room. They're not like autumnal, they're more like a spring bedsheet, but I can't wait to pop them on. I just loved 
the floral pattern of them. And I loved the bit of green as well. And the stripe, if you saw Thursday's video, I got a bit of footage from when I went into Foxford Woolen Mills. And there was loads of other bed sets there. There was a lovely, actually like pink, Tool, toil, T O I L E, I think it's a French word. I'm a bit French today with new Lala. Oh, my camera battery's dying. Okay, really quickly. Then I just treated myself to a scarf. Hang on. I got this beautiful burgundy, no, you wouldn't call this burgundy, like a brown. I'm panicking because the light is flashing on my camera. If I just disappear, you know where I've gone. I got this wool scarf for autumn as a little tree. I don't have many scarves and I thought it would look really nice with the jacket that I got second hand, the wax one. Thought it would look lovely on my walks. Feels beautiful. You can get them embroidered, but the girls said it takes about a week or two weeks. I'm not sure if they do an online service to get it embroidered. I would have loved a little initial on it, but that's okay. So yeah, I got this lovely autumnal scarf. Um, so yeah, it's very, there's a storm today, so if you're wondering why I'm dressed, I look like a sailor today in my stripy jumper, but um, no, I have a big chunky jumper today because it's stormy. The boots are back on as well. Autumn is officially here. I want to end this before my camera ends it for me. Um, if you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put all the information on the bits um, in the description box. Check out Thursday's video. I did a bit more rambling there. If you have been out that direction, Ballina, North Mayo, Mayo in general, it's huge. It's so vast. Um, there's a lot to see. Uh, you need a week. You need a week. But everybody was so lovely. And I felt like... I just felt like uh, I was homely. Like I've been to other kind of big cities, like, like Galway is nice. I, do, I love Galway, the Guinness, the fairies get you. But I felt like Mayo was more, I felt more at home in Mayo, if that makes sense. It was just nice and relaxed and no notions, just nice and yeah, everyone was so, so lovely. Um, and you know what, the drive wasn't too bad. The drive wasn't too bad. I'm not a fan of long drives, but she wasn't too bad. Anyway, I'll see you in Thursday's video.